My name is Rob Slee. I'm a senior lecturer here at the University of Greenwich Medway campus. What you're about to see is a basic life support demonstration with the defibrillator. So you've been called to a 50 year old male who was jogging in the park. He was seen to collapse. There were some bystanders around him, but nothing is happening. Off you go. Okay, so I'm walking in and I'm looking for danger. So approaching with care. Seeing if it's free from danger. So oh. the scene is safe? The scene is safe. Okay, so as I look, I'm going to call for a response. Hello, sir, can you hear me? Can you hear me? No response. Okay. So I'm going to give the shoulders a bit of a squeeze. Hello, sir, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Shouting in both ears. Just no response. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do now is just check the airway. Head tilt, chin lift. Can I see anything in the airway? There's nothing obvious you can see. So I'm going to open so I can expose the chest. Listen and look for 10 seconds while listening, feeling for a pulse. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's no breathing and no pulse. Okay, so confirming a cardiac arrest. Can we call control for a priority backup crew? And I'll start compression. Can you get the pads on, please, Sophie? Yeah, that's fine. We need to do a ribbon check. Lovely. Okay, so let's do a rhythm check. So the patient is in VF, shockable rhythm, so I'm going to charge. After Three, this shot, two, can you take one, over, please? Ventilate. Okay, stand clear. Shocking. Okay, compressions please. So I'm going to secure the airway. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm going to get an OP. Got to measure that. So from the tip of the incisor to the angle of the jaw. Yeah. Pop it in the wrong way round. Three, Twist two, it. one. Ventilate. Okay. Ventilate. And then get the oxygen running. The BVM. Sophie, can you please be very verbal of what round you're on, please? Ensuring that I'm trying to get a good sea grip. Sophie, can you do the airway once when you're having your break? Yeah. Just so I can get a solid seal. Three, two, one. Ventilate. Ventilate. So I've got the chest right there. Right there. solid compressions. So this will be, the next one will be your fifth and last cycle. Three, two, one, ventilate. So that's your fifth ventilate. cycle? Ventilate. And on fifth cycle. Okay. Let's do a rhythm check, please. Ventilate. So we're still in the air. So I'm okay, going so to charge. Yep. I'm going to come around so I can take over once you're done. Lovely. Lovely. Oxygen away. Stand clear, everyone. Lovely. Right, I'm going to do a double E grip if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Just wait for that second crew to turn up. Three, two, one, ventilate. Ventilate. So I'm being sure not to squeeze the bag too much to overinflate the lungs. You're in your second cycle? Yeah, this is my second now. So if the second crew don't turn up, then I think we'll just have to do the same if that's all right with you, Sophie. Three, two, one, ventilate. Ventilate.
Right then, Sophie. Hello. Hi. Hi guys. So, the history that we've got, this is a 50 year old male, gone out running and he's collapsed in the park. Three, Confirmed. two, one, Cardio ventilate. Cardiac arrest, I'm going on to my fourth cycle now. Ventilate. So after this we'll do a rhythm check and can someone take over from myself? Yeah, I'll take over from you. What would you like me to do? Um, can you start knobs? Yes. Just get the temperature and we'll try it. How are you on the airway, Sophie? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, ventilate. Ventilate. Checking for a temperature. So the temperature is 37.2. So this is my 50, and I'll do the rhythm check and shock if need be, That's and fine. then you take over. I'm coming in from your left. Three, right. two, one, ventilate. Ventilate. Right, so I'm going to do a rhythm check, so that's my fifth. So we're still in VF, so shock room, I'm charging. Doing a BM. Blood okay. glucose is 4.6. Right. Everyone stand clear, oxygen away. Shocking. Please, Jordan. Okay, so I'm going to stand back so I get a more uh, overview to the whole situation there. Let's check for the reversible causes of cardiac arrest. So we've got the OP in, we've got a clear airway, and we've got the bag valve mask with oxygen, so that's dealing with any hypoxia. Okay, um, We've got the temperature, that was within a normal range, so I'm not worried about hypothermia at the moment. So another reversible cause would be hyperkalemia, um, hard to test in the pre-hospital setting without a history of any sort of dialysis or renal failure. Um, but we can check the blood glucose for if we've got hypo or hyperglycemia occurring. Any sort of evidence of catastrophic bleed that anyone can see, we can check the back, the legs, um, check the rigidity of the stomach just to see if there's any internal bleeding. Um, can't see any evidence of that at all. Um, if we look at the arms for any track marks, um, have a look if we've got any evidence of toxins. Can we check the pupils? Um, yeah, so if they were pinpoint, suggesting maybe we've got an opiate overdose. Okay, so when we ventilate, is there any resistance on the bag at all? No, okay, so looking for the bilateral chest rise as well, just to see if that's normal, looking for a tension pneumothorax. Any evidence of blunt force trauma to the chest or something that could suggest a tamponade? No, okay. And finally, we've got any thrombus. So if we check the calves, see if they're red, hot, any evidence of a DVT. Again, and no history, so we can't assess if there was any chest pain prior to the collapse. Um, so I've gone through the H's and T's there for the reversible causes, um, and we'll just continue to assess. Looks like normal silence. Have we got a pulse? Okay, yes, you have a carotid pulse. Okay, so now that we have got a return of spontaneous circulation, uh, what I want to do, Jordan, if you can assess the breathing, keep an eye on it, ventilate if need be, and also watch the monitor and check the pulse regularly. Gabe, can you do a full set of observations, please, including a 12 lead ECG? And Sophie, if you wouldn't mind going to get all the equipment that we need to extricate the patient. Can you continue to ventilate the patient, make sure that we keep the sats up? Yeah. Dave, we'll do an ECG, then we might be able to see if we've had an MI. Sophie, can you repeat the obs, please? Let's get a blood glucose in, blood pressure. Let's see if Three, that blood pressure's two, fallen. One, um, what we're going to do as well, also, guys, we need to follow ventilate. what we're going to do next with this patient. If we can continue to keep having normal sinus rhythm with a carotid pulse, then we'll get some stuff in to extract him.